so I was like, yeah, that's fine. Spoiler, it was not fine. Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women. And let's talk about this medical student's issue with an IUD. Now, IUDs come in a few varieties and people use them for different reasons. But in this particular case, it sounds like they used a non-hormonal copper IUD. Why does that matter? So you can't use this type of IUD if somebody has certain types of medical issues like Wilson's disease, which if you're like a medical nerd like me, you know that people with Wilson's disease actually don't tolerate copper, but it's not actually an allergy. This particular individual really had like the one in a million chance of being allergic to copper. So when they had a copper IUD inserted, they went into a chronic allergic reaction of their body. And as a result, everything went kaboom and got messed up. So what it sounds like happened to me is that this chronic inflammation and chronic, like kind of like anaphylactic reaction that they were having with hives every single day led to the insides getting pissed off getting infected, and then further complications down the road. So if you have something new to your body done, whether it's an IUD or another medical device or a new medication, like don't just ignore the symptoms that are happening. It's worth asking the questions, even if it's a rare chance that you're gonna have the one in a million complication.